Okay, I'd like to talk about the Carrefour theorem today. Um, it's a useful theorem in information theory in many scenarios where we uh, want to specify the weight region for some uh, problem. And in that case, we need to introduce some auxiliary random variable. And uh, we want to kind of restrict the alphabet size of those uh, variables, I mean, in that case, a Carrefour theorem will be very useful. Um, the theorem itself is quite intuitive. Here, I will not give out the proof, but I will try to give an example to kind of just uh, offer some intuition. Um, the theorem uh, is split into two different cases. In the first case, uh, we will consider x as a set of points in Rn, and um, let's consider the commerce closure of this x. For example, here I have this x is just four points here in the space R2, and the commerce closure is will be just this green box here like inside this green uh, um, um, bound boundary here. I'm not say consider any points in this commerce closure, let's say this point x here. Um, the theorem says that, uh, says that we can always find uh, s points where s will be less than n plus 1. In this case, uh, s will be less than 3 because it's n dimension. Um, and such that this point x is a commerce combination of these s points. Um, so in this case here, we can find this uh, three points here, 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 and here, and this x will be a commerce combination of these three points apparently. Or uh, like uh, basically, we say it's a commerce combination. It's just that x will be equal to sum over this lambda i x i, where lambda i uh, is a uh, bigger than equal to zero, and sum of under i is equal to one. Okay, in the second form, um, we have uh, x uh, instead of like a set of points, x is composed of uh, less than like n disconnected components. Uh, in this case, for example, I have uh, in a two-dimensional space, m n is equal to two. I have x is basically composed of this portion and this portion. And if we consider again the commerce closure of x is basically here, and we pick any point inside the commerce closure. Now the theorem said that we can always find s points where s in this case is less than equal to n. So we can find for example uh, this point and this point in x. Uh, and uh, in this case, s is just equal to 2, and this x here will be a linear combination of these two chosen points. Okay, let's go for an example here. Uh, let's consider the MAC channel, or the multiple access channel, that basically we have two terminals, x1 and x2, and we want to send information from each of the terminal to a joint decoder y here. And the weight region uh, of a MAC channel will, can be given by this R1 is less than IX1Y given X2Q, and R2 is less than IX2Y given X1Q, and the sum weight will be less than IX1X2Y given Q. Here I'm not, not showing like why uh, the weight region is given like this, but I just want to say that like um, given the Curfiotto theorem, we can limit the alphabet size of this auxiliary auxiliary uh, random variable Q here. So what we are going to do here is, uh, let's say we set R is equal to uh, a vector uh, composed of these three uh, terms here on the right hand side. And then like uh, this i x one y given x two q is basically this conditional mutual inf mutual information is also defined as a uh, sum over alpha q 
times i x1 y given x2 q, this small q here, where this alpha q here is the probability that uh, the random variable is equal to q, small q. And uh, if we write like this for each of these components, then we can see that like um, this r here is just converse combination of um, terms of x or like a set of points x um, given by this i x y x two small q here, where q are uh, all the possible q's. Now, by the Kerfiotary theorem one part one, we know that uh, as long as the dimension, in this case the dimension is three, uh, we only need m plus one points in X such that any point R will be uh, can be represented as converse combination of this M plus one point. Therefore, in other words, we can limit the alphabet size of Q uh, into only four. So we can only pick four points here and that will be sufficient to um, represent all the possible R. And uh, that's it.